Hi everyone, Jean Lewison here. I uh, hadn't loosened up in a long time, so I thought I'd combine doing a painting with loosening up. And I decided to do this abstract landscape and decided also, and I also wanted to use a very limited palette to, to get a mood for the scene, an atmospheric mood. And I used only two colors here, Payne's Gray by Winsor and Newton, and Rose of Ultramarine by Daniel Smith. And I was quite pleased with the results. I always use fresh paint when I paint. I never dry my paints and then re-wet them. You just never get the beautiful brightness of, of the colors as far as I'm concerned. And um, so I only try to put out as much paint as I think I'm going to use. And with years of painting, I can more or less do that. But I did have some paint over and I felt like I should use it up. So I did a smaller painting, slightly different, on a theme. It's a good idea to do several paintings on the same theme because each one is always going to be totally different. Of course, I realized after I'd done it that I should have videoed it for you. So as not to disappoint you, I'm going to recreate it and show you how I did this painting. Now, this, this the, in the sky, I did several layers here to, to get the light and dark. In the bottom, I think I did about two layers, but I'm gonna attempt to do everything in one layer this time by using thicker paint and it's just a quick demonstration of how I created this abstract landscape. So doing this in one layer, I hope, I hope it's going to have the same effect because what I find with the um, Payne's Grey is it dries much lighter and that's why I have to go in and do a number of layers. Um, I'm going to just put it on thicker than for the first layer than I normally do and um, I'm going to go with my round brush and now one thing that you should always remember is you don't want a light area like this to go off the page uh, because you, it'll take your eye right out of the painting. That's something I learned in art school. And so I just want to get some paint down. Go back to my flat brush. This may end up needing a second layer, but I'm going to try really hard to get it done in, in one layer. So I'm going to bring in the r rose of ultramarine. Yeah, and maybe a little bit in the sky. But I just want to put it in as, as um, thickly as possible uh, so that we don't have to do more than one layer. Uh, maybe now I do need to put in some texture with the cling wrap. What I want to do is get horizontal lines going here, um, especially over the um, rows of ultramarine. Just get some real texture going there. And when you put cling wrap over it, it, it lightens it anyway. So just want to get these horizontal lines going with a little bit of texture. Maybe I'll take it down to here so we don't get straight lines. There. So we'll just let that um, dry and hopefully we'll have a painting with just one layer.
So it's not totally dry yet, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what my process is in, in creating these landscapes. And as you can see, every single one is different. And that's what I love about it. And that's why I like to do a particular subject over and over because it's always going to be different. It's always exciting and you never know how it's going to turn out. So I hope you enjoyed this small demonstration. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.